Okay, so you guys come down to Del De La Salle, fall 41 to three. What were they able to do to get those quick touchdowns in the first half? Uh, you know, they're just on another level. I'll tell you, very fast. Uh, um, really want to take away the inside game on them, and uh, they really did a good job getting it outside. And uh, they got speed, and they got on us real quick. Um, thought offensively, they're really moving the ball. We had a couple turnovers and just couldn't get back into the game. Um, you know, they're a great football team. I'll tell you, physical, fast. Uh, they got a great kicker every drive. We started at the 20. Um, I was proud of our guys. Our guys played hard. I'll tell you, they didn't give up. They played uh, hard all 48 minutes, and uh, we'll be better. We'll be better. we got a big game next week at Grant. we got two games at home, so uh, we'll rally this week, get better from the experience, and uh, you know, come ready Monday, get ready to go great for Grant. First drive, you guys drove down, got in their territory, got three points up on the board. What went right on that drive? Well, you know, I, I th like I said, I thought we moved the ball a little bit, you know, throughout the night in spurts, but uh, just uh, you know, our line got some good, got some hats on hats. I thought Dylan ran really hard. Uh, we got a couple guys banged up a little bit. It kind of messed with a little of our continuity there for a few quarters, but uh, you know, like I said, the kids played hard. You got to give them credit. They, uh, you know, they didn't quit. They played really hard. I'm proud of their effort. Um, Dale South's a great team and uh, at a whole number level, and uh, so we know where that bar is, and we got to get better and start working towards that. Dylan Canerath was running pretty well, and then he got injured. Yeah, I got a little dinged up on the knee. He's been kind of nursing a little sore knee, and I think I kind of caught up with him a little bit. Uh, Greg came out. I thought Greg ran really hard also. Uh, but like I said, we just kind of, when you get down in a game like that, 21-3, and trying to get the run game going, it's probably not what you want to do. Uh, you know, you got to give them credit. There's a little wind tonight also, and it seemed like when we had uh, times we had to get in back into the game, it was kind of in our face and made it hard for us. What do you guys take out of this game? Well, you know, there's, you know, good time you have a chance to play, uh, you know, the best round. I think it kind of shows you how far we got to come as a program. we got a lot to work on, and we got to get better. Uh, coaching, uh, you know, players, everybody. Um, real hard, whole town came down. It was a great atmosphere. You know, JV's won tonight, so, I mean, that's, that's a positive. But uh, you know, I think it's just kind of breaking down the field, taking some good stuff out of it, being from some physical play to some great kids, and uh, you know, trying to get better, better through the experience. The JV group made a pretty nice comeback. You're pretty proud of what they're oh, able no to do. No doubt about it. Yeah, it was great. That was great for our program and for our kids, and uh, and our coach, our JV coach, did a great job. But uh, yeah, you know, I just you know, I'd say I wish we'd play a little better. I, I don't think the scoreboard indicates how you know how bad we played. I thought we played a lot better than the score indicated tonight. But uh, we'll get better. We'll get better. We'll be back. All right. Anything else, Casey? That's it. Thank you very much.